What is cumulative relative frequency? For us to understand the concept of cumulative relative frequency, we will need to remind ourselves frequency. If you've not watched our last video where we talked about frequency, relative frequency and cumulative frequencies, I'll leave a link to that video above and also a link in the description below. What is frequency? Frequency simply means the number of times a value occurs, how frequent something occurs from the definition, right? And when we say cumulative frequencies, how the frequency has accumulated over time. So the cumulative frequency of a particular value just tells us the sum of all the frequencies up to that particular value or up to that given value. And you had seen all the examples in which we gave here. And when we talk about cumulative relative frequency, it's just the sum of all the relative frequencies up to a given value. So this is straightforward. We know what the frequency is. We know how to compute the cumulative frequency. Now we want to compute the cumulative relative frequency. But in order for us to understand the cumulative relative frequency, it's also good for us to understand what relative frequency means. Relative frequency, we have a video that we explain relative frequency, but I'm going to use that time to explain it here. But you can see a link to the video above. Relative frequency is basically the frequency of a data value that is looked into in relation to the sample size. So it was just not particular about the number of values now, but we're looking at that number of values and relating it to the total sample size. And so a relative frequency can be computed by dividing the frequency by the total number of elements in that sample. And relative frequency is a proportion because it's part of a whole. So, and it adds up to one. So let's imagine this data set that was retrieved from a couple of patients in a clinic where we ask them, how many times they visited the clinic in the last one month. So some individuals visited five times, while some visited as much as 10 times. And this data was obtained from 20 patients in a clinic in Zaria. So how do we represent this data and get the cumulative relative frequency? The first thing is that we need to first draw the table as usual. And the table we're going to draw now is called the cumulative relative frequency distribution table. All right. But we can't do this unless we draw a table and the table will contain the frequencies and the relative frequencies. So what we need to first do is to put in the variable and our variable is the number of visits. And then we'll now put in a tally and put a frequency and then the relative frequency. And we do the cumulative frequency but we're really particular about the cumulative relative frequency which relates directly to the relative frequency the cumulative frequency relates to the frequency while the cumulative relative frequency relates to the relative frequency so just to remind you that when we're dealing with numeric variables we need to arrange the values of the variable in ascending order so if we look at the number of visits the least number of visits a patient had was one. Okay, so we have one, we have two visits, we also have five, six, eight, and ten. No patient had nine visits, no patient had seven visits, no patient had four or three visits. So and then we put up the tally and the tally corresponds to the frequency. So we put up the frequencies too. Good. And so now we're going to compute the relative frequency. And if you remember how relative frequency is computed, we're going to be dividing the frequency of that particular value by the total. So our total here is 20 when we add 2 plus 3 plus 7 plus 5 plus 1 plus 2 and we have 20 so there are 20 individuals and to get the relative frequency we're going to be dividing the particular frequency of that value by the total so we're going to say for the first one 2 divided by 20 and we're going to get 0 0.1 the second one will be 3 divided by 20 and it's going to give us 0 0.15 the third one is going to be 7 divided by 20 and we'll have 0 0.35 and we're going to continue like this up to when we have our relative frequency and if you remember this all adds up to one then now the cumulative frequency and our cumulative frequency is actually the sum of the frequencies up to that particular value so when we look at the first value which is only one visit in the last one month we had a frequency of two and there's no other frequency before this so we'll keep that as two for the next um number of visits is two visits you had a frequency of three so our cumulative frequency is the sum of all the frequencies up to two visits so that's going to include the people that had one visit that's two individuals and it's also going to include the person that had three visits and you can see that we had two people that had one visit and we had three people that had two visits so we'll add this together and get five and then we'll do the same here it's going to be seven plus five and you can see how we got this 12 5 plus 12 17 and like this and then we have this so now we come to our cumulative relative frequency so the first 
cumulative relative frequency will be 0 0.10 which is the relative frequency that we have here if you remember the definition the sum of relative frequencies up to the particular value so there are no relative frequencies before one so this is the first relative frequency so now what's the cumulative relative frequency for those that have up to two visits so the first relative frequency that we have which is our 0 0.15 and then we're going to add with the other relative frequency with the initial one giving us 0 0.25 for the second also those that have up to five visits they are cumulative relative frequencies for those that have five visits relative frequency is 0 0.35 and then we had two other relative frequencies before that that so all the relative frequencies the sum of all relative frequencies up to 0 0.35 so we're going to say 0 0.35 plus 0 0.25 and then we have 0 0.60 and this is how we're going to compute for all the rest so that's that just to remind you that you can see that the last cumulative frequency that we we'll have should add up to the total. Your relative frequency also should add up to 1. And then your cumulative relative frequency also, the last one, should be related to 1. The last one for the last visit should be related to 1. This is a check and balance for you to know if you have done the correct stuff. Alrighty. This is how to compute the cumulative relative frequency. And this is the cumulative relative frequency distribution table. If you have enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.